okay so in today's video we are going to create a list like this where user can dynamically add data through the bottom sheet watch movie and whenever you submit it it is going to be added in the list so today's video is going to be fun so without wasting any time let's get started okay guys welcome back so in today's video we are going to continue our tutorial from the last video in which we have created a bottom sheet where user can open and close the sheet from the buttons in this video we are going to make it more interactive for user where user can input the values and we are going to show those values inside the list so if you have not watched the previous video i would strongly recommend you to please watch the previous video you can have the link in the description and also in the top right corner of the screen okay so first we are going to create a view from where user can enter the values for that i am going to create a composable function i am going to name it user input sheet and it is going to return the value whenever user press the enter button so i am going to say on on enter clicked it is going to return us a string and it's written type what be unit okay inside this we will have a column which will have a modifier of fill max width and have a padding of 16 dp by default it will have also have an arrangement of 16 GB. Okay. So first I am going to create a variable for our user input. I am going to say var in user input by remember and it will be immutable state of empty. Remember, sorry, remember. I'm going to create a text field over here, which will, uh, and inside that we need to have two things. First is going to be user input, and whenever the new input has been entered by the user, we are going to put it inside the user input. So in that way, our input is going to be updated every time. I'm going to give it some decoration by saying modifier.filmxv to occupy the full space. And also have a background, no, sorry, border, border of width. 1.tp with color of color dot black black and the uh, shape will be rounded corner shape of 16 tp below our text field i'm going to add a button and whenever user clicks the button we are going to return it on enter clicked and we are going to return the user input which will be going to be a string the text inside the button will be submit let make the button to occupy the full width okay and that's it for our view we are also going to make sure user don't press the button without entering anything and for that we are going to put enabled if the button will only be enabled if user input is not equals to empty so if user input is empty uh, our button is going to be disabled i'm going to copy this put it over here and when the enter enters click we are going to do something here 
also uh, I'm going to copy this stuff from here because we are going to need this and I'm going to remove the rest so whenever user clicks the button we are going to hide the sheet as well as we need to put the user input which is going to be which we are going to get over here we need to put user input inside the list so for that we need to create a list I am going to say um, user task list which will be equals to remember I am going to say mutable state list of this So by this way we are going to create our list and whenever user presses the enter button we are going to get some value and we are going to add that value inside this okay next what we need to do is we need to show the list somewhere and we are going to do it over here so I'm going to say mm, lazy one and we need to also have add some padding otherwise the initial data of our list is not going to be shown because of padding I'm going to say modify equals modify dot padding of this okay and also if you have no idea about lazy column so i have already created a video on it so please watch that video i am going to put the link of that video in the description also and you can also see it in the top right corner of the screen okay now I, we are going to use our items and i'm going to select the second one and i'm going to say user task list and from here we will get our data over here okay also i'm going to give it some properties i'm going to say content padding padding values are going to be 16.tp also it will have a vertical arrangement arrangement dot space by 16 okay I am going to create a card over here. Card will have a modifier to take all the variable width. And inside the card will have a text. And the text will be data. Font size will be 22.sp. Import the sp also add some modifier to have a padding of 16.tp okay so i think that's it so whenever user is going to add some values and press the button we are going to take the that input from here and we are going to add it inside the list and that list is going to be updated and will be shown over here so let's try to run this also change the color of this and we can do it very easily by changing the style of our text and i will say to be color dot white okay so first we are going to open the sheet and the sheet inside the sheet we are going to add our value and i'm going to say do the laundry okay and whenever user clicks the on submit button our item is going to show over here let's add another item by opening the sheet do the dishes okay click submit and that's how we can make our bottom sheet more interactive 
by taking user input from the users and show it inside the list so that was all for today i hope you have liked the video if you do please do subscribe to my channel and also to give a like to the video that was all for today we'll meet you in the next